No, it's not online. Good. We're online. We're online. Good. We're online. We're online. Hello. Good day. <laughs> it depends on when you're watching. So it's a just a good day. That's true. My name's Lauren. This is and Bars and Bells, and, and this is. That's right, and I'm Ian, and it is the afternoon or early evening here, live at 4.05 Eastern Standard Time on this channel, Bars and Bells. Tonight is our Strength and, strength and Swings class, where we play with our kettlebells, which I'm better at than speaking. So let's get to it. We'll start with our body weight and then progress our skills. Remember last week we worked on our two-handed swings and our presses as well as some get-ups. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing all of the above and introducing our single arm swing. Stay tuned for more next week, but until then, do this week. Believe it or not, this is not our first time doing this. Check our catalog. Sometimes our intros go smoothly, but that's why we like to do our check-in with our body weight as well. How are you feeling today? We'll start the head and neck and slightly, lightly do a flexion movement, which is chin towards the clavicles here. Then look to the shoulder. Then look up the wall. Find center with the head. Pull the chin down. Repeat. Could you look on the horizon in the middle and then look to the side as you rotate the other way? Then up the wall, find the ceiling, do your chin tuck, finish nice and tall. Let's reverse one more time. This time extension or up, then look to the side, repeat down. I like Lauren's hands a lot. I'm going to switch my hands too. Then find the center. Easy does it, but pull down to go up or extend. Then look the other way. Then down the wall, I like the palms forward, never really finish that thought. Rotate to center, and then continue looking on the horizon. But this time, place the hands across the body, and that's what Lauren would have done too without the cue, and retract the shoulders. Moderate it, excuse me, and easy does it chin tuck, or super moderate, do the chin tuck. Then flex through the spine and repeat the pattern. So it was a forward bend, followed by a rotation, followed by a side bend, and we'll go to the front. Circle around to the front. Then pull down on the rib cage, find that shield already, and lift gently up. From here, add the flexion again. This time, rotate the other way. Side bend to the opposite diagonal, and then circle back around to the front. Pull down to go up, but continue going up this time, and maybe rotate with the head to the back corner. The body will follow. Side bend, and just circle all the way back again to the middle. Find the center. And then repeating, lift up and over. We'll rotate one more time to that back corner. Enjoy the side bend. And then finish around to the back and pull the rib cage down. You ready, Lauren? Oh, that's a rib cage of steel. Or abs shield. Of whatever steel. It is. All right. Let's move on. Let's get our feet nice and warmed up along with our wrists, those peripheral mm. appendages. Right now, standing up tall, just spread your toes out nice and wide. All 10 toes, try to find space between them, but as you're doing that, keep the balls of the feet and the heels heavy on the floor. You should feel the lateral border of their foot connected, and then let's place our baby toes, our ring toes, our middle toes, our index toes, our thumb toes down. Now from there, pull a foot back as if you're pulling a foot back in order to press to that demi point or lunge point position. Then push down to go up and gently switch. Let's just march through this a couple times, each time at the top trying to find a nice control balance and descend with that same amount of control. One more time, ending up on that first foot, stay. This time we'll use their toes to point. We'll gently flex over the toes. Good. Now stay here, keep your knee forward, and can you wing out that ankle? And then could you pull it back in, get to the tips of the toes, the ball of the foot, the heel comes down and the hip extends forward. Repeat on the other side, pull to the lunge position foot. Use your toes to point. Gently flex around over the toes. Keep the knee forward, but try to wing the ankle out. Then pull the ankle back in line, get back to tiptoes, ball of foot, heel comes down. Next, let's find the floor through our ankle squat. Knees will gently press over the toes. Hanging out here right now, shoulders are over top of hips, little butt, 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 side to side. Then continue lowering and the heels will slowly peel up off the floor. The knees will land with or without your hands. The hips will come through. The toes will point to the back. Let's sit back on those ankles for a second, feeling that nice plantar flexion. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we'll extend our hips forward. 
We'll extend our arms out front of us. And as we're doing some get-ups and some push-ups today, let's warm up the wrists. Shoulders retracted. Elbow pits face the ceiling. Elbows straight, hinge. Fingers down, callus line. Palms, elbows still straight. Next, keeping those shoulders out of your ears, rotate the elbows backwards. And then rotate them forward, screwing them into your wrists. Repeat again. Rotate elbows backwards. Try not to move your shoulders. Rotate your elbows forward. Now keep them forward. Let's just as we did with our toes, push our babies down, our rings down, our middles down, our index and our thumbs. With your elbows nice and straight, let's do five first knuckle push-ups. Elbows stay straight, palms press away, control descent. Repeat. This is like going up to your tiptoes to find the balance and coming back down. Just as you would at your toes, can you keep your elbows slash your knees nice and straight here? Last two. And then one, this time flick the floor away. Give that a little shake. We'll do one more quarter turn of the wrist. And by quarter, I mean half. 180. 180 degrees. Fingers are facing you as they come down. Palms, butts of the palms down to the floor. Thumbs heavy, index ring, middle. Baby, heavy ring. on the floor. I think I said ring okay. middle. Sometimes it's I hard got to keep them backwards. Track, even though it's only 10. It's upside down, so. Shoulders out of your ears, elbows straight. Keep those fingers heavy, gently sit back. You probably feel a lot through the front of your forearms. This is great, as long as it's great for you. Then come back forward at a slight bend to the elbows. And could you sit back with the bend, but then could you continue sitting back, peeling the palms, and then the fingers flip Oof. away. Give that a little shake. And next, we'll place our hands on your own buttocks. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Can you feel the tension in the hips? Squeeze them with my hands? Squeeze them with your butt cheeks. Oh. Feel it with your hands. Squeeze it with your butt cheeks. So squeeze your butt so much that you extend the hips through to a tall kneel position. And then narrow like our lunge. Let's take a single leg and place it out front. Feel free to have the back leg plantar flexed or pointed like Lauren just had, or as she transitioned to that lunging style foot, whichever works for you right now. Tuck under that back hip, squeeze your butt cheek, not to fire up with incredible power, but to feel some whoop on the hip. Then take that leg out to the side. At this position, keep your shoulders square, but hike the hip out to the side, bringing it towards the ribs, and then pull it back down. Keep the upper body still. Great hands across the body can help with that. Find one or two more repetitions, but find that level position, and then bring it to the front. Return to that toe tip if you can and squeeze your kneeling butt cheek leg to extend the hip and help with the balance and bring that leg underneath. Switch, it's other leg out front. Maybe it's hiked right away, so be aware of that and encourage that level position and then tuck under like a cat underneath or forward tip of the hip there, squeezing your bum cheek. Pull in, easy does it, mind your neighbor, leg out to the side. Out here again, we'll keep the upper body calm or quiet and pull up and down from the hips. Ensure that when we go up, we're still tucked under and we pull down in that hip, we're still maintaining that slight posterior pelvic tilt or bum cheek squeeze. Repeat one or two more to find level, bring that to the front, get to the toe tip and back to our tall lunge position. Let's go back to those hands, Lauren, and maybe that push-up you talked about a second ago. Oh, excellent. Let's establish the top of our push-up position. Hands will be a little bit wider than your plank. You'll tuck your toes and you'll lift up to that plank position. That being said, you can always do this from your knees. Either choice here. Let's do a checklist. All 10 fingers heavy on the floor. Toes are tucked. Shoulders are pulled down under your ears. Head is in line with your neck. Your abs are braced like you could take a punch to them. Your butt cheeks are squeezed. Now gently pull your hands towards your knees to engage your lats for five, three, two, knees down. You should probably want to break after that. Tailbone Ooh. tips to the ceiling, gently push back. If you don't want to break, you should try a little harder. <laughs> okay, let's explore the full range push up here. We'll come back to that top position. You need to keep that whole checklist checked as we slowly descend. So let's pull our shoulders down, squeeze our butt cheeks, brace our core, and slowly pull ourselves down to about 90 degrees or just past. Could you pause at the bottom here for three? Are your cheeks still squeezed, core still braced? And then hop, press up, knees down. 
Whew. Take a second off. Let's do that one more time. My favorite number is three, so let's do three in a row. We won't pause for so long at the bottom, but we will pause. Up, cheeks, abs, shoulders, go. Slow descent, up. Slow descent, up. One more. And up. Nice. Should we stand up, Ian? We'll get back to that lunge. Back to the Push lunge. Push the floor away. Extend the hips. Tall kneel or prayer position there. Bring a leg through. Bring a leg out to the side. We love those rigid shapes in the middle, but for the get-up, we add the rotation. So let's take the hand across the body of the leg out to the side. Good coordination there. Start with the head and neck. Rotate towards the leg at the lateral side there, my left. Then rotate the upper body next. We hinge in our swings. We hinge in our windmill here, so find the floor. And in this position, look up to the ceiling, but pack that shoulder down. Then look at the ground, landmark your nose on your thumb, and then gently rotate through the upper body to return it to the floor, sternum facing down. Then look up, add a rotation, cue that that shoulder is packed. We'll talk about that in the windmill for the get up as well. Then press the floor away, square the head to front, shoulders next, and wiggle in that hip. Get to the toe tip, bring it underneath. Speed helps, so try to go slow if you can. And then switch one quick repetition in a revolution on the other side. Check the hand, do the chin tuck, rotate at the head to look over the leg out laterally. Then casually add the rotation, chop the hip, chip chop sometimes we say too, and then pack that shoulder as the armpit pulling down to the hips. Then at the head, do a rotation, landmark your nose on your thumb, keep it there as if a golf swing, and rotate the torso towards the floor. Then look away from the thumb over the shoulder, open up in a rotation, cue that that armpit is pulling down, and then press through, head to center, shoulders to follow, the leg assembles next, and then maybe let's get up in our first hinge today. Maybe you should do one more set of push-ups. One more push-ups. Because I say. Okay. And then we should stay say, on the floor. Great. And then we should do some get-ups. Okay. Okay, now you know the menu, or at least what's ahead of you for the next six minutes. Let's get back to that push-up position. Let's do upwards of six push-up. It's my favorite number, times two. Tuck your toes, pull your shoulders down, squeeze your butt cheeks, go nice and controlled down, and press away. Nose towards the floor, breathing. Are your cheeks still squeezed? That core is still braced. Can you still feel your lats as you pull yourself down? Head is still in line. I believe this is number six. <laughs> Radiant. That's it. Knees down. Whew. Give your hands a little break. Shake out those wrists. Next, get a kettlebell. Get that kettlebell going. One that you would like to do some get-ups with. So we'll start lying on the floor. We're going to be doing what we did last week, which was one get-up on each side, followed by two get-ups in a row on each side. You may stick with the same weight. You may do body weight if you're new to the get-up. You choose whatever it is. Let's start in our cuddle position. Remember, take your time in the get up one move at a time. What's wrong? I actually uh, didn't grab the weight I anticipated oh, okay. to grab there. Always double check. Always double check. Always double check. A it's three, the right one. A two, a one to your back. Press that bell. First move is the hip drive. Pull on the elbow. Find your hand. A bridge sweep. Pressing the floor away. Friend leg moves to that lunge position. Both legs help you up. Control yourself back down. Through the lunge, arm stays vertical, rotate hinge, sweep, elbow, back, bell down, return to the cuddle. Whew. Take a little time, spin yourself around, breathing, <laughs> get under that load. First one is heavy sometimes. They get easier from here before they get harder, at least. We hope so, actually. We hope, all right with or without your bell from the cuddle position. Roll press. Here we go, hip drive. Pull, hand, bridge sweep. Floor pushes away, hip extend. Now we're looking forward as we lunge yourself back up. Keeping those hips relatively level as we descend. Foot, rotate, hinge, sweep, elbow to your back, pull bell down, return via the cuddle. Woo-wee, all right. 
who has promised, we're now going to do perform two in a row. Does that sound good? That sounds great. Okay. And it sounds like maybe we'll give Lauren's vocal cords a little rest. Oh, I'll, that's nice. I'll go through those very same cues all the way through the get up. Be patient, take your time, and always be able to get home or to the ground again safely. Cuddle, roll, press. Those are cues from Lauren too. Drive the hip. That's the elbow. Find the tall sit. Bridge, press into that floor with the bent leg and push the floor away through the hand to windmill. Square your lunge. Full stand. Balance. Get yourself down in the lunge. Windmill open. Hand to the floor. Is that shoulder packed? Pull the armpit to the hip and find the elbow. Then to the back. But stay there. Do it again. Drive through the hip. Pull to the tall sit. Take your time. Breathe through and focus on my lunge here as I stand and square. Return down. Open rotation. Find the floor. Sit proud and tall. Elbow. Backside like it's easy. Oh. Two hands. Easy. And down. Mm. Oh. <sighs> I was glad you were talking, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering if we're going to switch off here. I could do it this or time. I have to do it again. But holy. I'm do my left hand first, interestingly Ooh. enough. That was good. You did your left hand first? I time. did, nice. yes. So I am using yeah. a little bit heavier weight than I had been. So. Which means that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no peer pressure here. Uh, I don't know not why peer I pressure, but just pressure. Uh, standards, Lauren. Standards. Standards. Anyway. Let's do two in a row. Okay. I might get a little huffy here, but that's okay. That's why we do our get ups. Cardio with weight. Here we go. Cuddle, roll, press, hip drive, pull, hand, bridge sweep, press the floor away. That back toe is already tucked to give you that help up. Control back down. Foot, rotate, hinge, sweep. Elbow, keep the bell up when you end up on your back. Let's go one more time. Hip extension. Find your hand. Bridge sweep. Square up that lunge. Up to tall. Last down here. Front foot, when you rotate and hinge, we start looking at that bell. Stack over top of your shoulder. Elbow. Back. Bell pulls down. Cuddles, woo -wee. take a second off, shake it out. No rules, actually there's a rule, don't use your hands and stand up. No hands, stand up. Hopefully that's a lot of work, it's a lot of work for us too. And as Lauren's doing right there, lightly close lips, breathe in the nose and also out the nose. Nice and slow. Although you'll probably hear me breathe through my mouth in just a second once I stop talking. Like right there. But from here, let's just pattern our one arm swing here. Then Lauren will press and we will we'll work through one arm swing progressions and strong presses. Like last week, we started, started rather at the top. And we could have one arm flexed in nice and tight. Or we could have two hands out front, but the one hand be floating. For the purpose of this drill, let's practice this position nice and strong and tall. The kettlebell is in the hand outstretched. Is that shoulder packed and elbow straight? Then take the hand and bring it towards the hips. When it touches the thigh, return to a hinge. From that position, keep it tight to the body as you extend and return. Let's do that as we extend the other elbow this time. So bring the hands down as a team that one touches the hips, one's outside of the hip. Initiate your hinge, push through and return to the tall position. Practice that down phase just one more time as you bring that hand down. This is our high plank extension, like a push up, and then just relax and shake. Replicate the same quick efforts on the other side. So we start at the top, nice and tall. The hand has the kettlebell, bring that towards the hips or zipper, then hinge. Are you square? Avoid the rotation here. Bring the hips through with the hand trailing. Crack a walnut with your bum cheeks, and out front. Repeating and the elbow extends as the hand comes down this time. One hand tracks outside the hip, other hand between the legs. Push the feet out, full body tension. 
That's it, Lauren, the one end, elbow bends, other arm out front. For the final repetition, maintain your high core tension plank and take that straight arm, which has that imaginary kettlebell, return to the hips, and then shake it out. Stay tuned for more swing, one arm swing progressions, and feel free to use your two-handed swing if you're new to this practice. We'll progress our single hand pop. swings, but then we'll get a little hop hop going with our two handed swings towards pop, the end. Pop. Until then, we're going to press. Last week, we little, did a little pyramid, Up as you recall down, my explanation, because it had a peak. This week, we'll be doing a straight line, or if you choose differently, that's allowed too. Let's aim for threes. Oh, what a number. That favorite number again, making its appearance. We'll cheat clean into the rack position, press the bell upwards of three times, put it down, switch hands, do the same thing on the other side, go back to a single arm drill. Here we go. Chip chop, hip hinge, grip, rack, three, one, two, three. Bell comes down and parks. Give a second. In that second, Feet rooted on the floor when you press. Cheeks squeeze to shoot that bell up. Abs braced Sounds to like have a tree up. trunk. Lats engaged. Keep your shoulder down, even at the most overhead. Vertical forearm. Those are your cue points. Here we go, second side. Hinge, rack, press, butts and abs. Pinky gripping that bell. The off arm helps you Create some tension through the whole body as you press. Place bell down. Whew. Swing time. One arm swing, namely one arm hike passes. Lauren will just get going here and follow along if you know what's going on right away. Or listen to Lauren a second as she cues me. This I go, you go pattern. Hand on the bell, preload as the bell tips and pull it to the zipper and park and pull it to the zipper We'll go with two more repetitions here for up to five. Pull zipper, park. Last one. Awesome. Stand up barehanded. Repeat on the other side. Preload the kettlebell, meaning tip on an edge. Pack a shoulder, those lats coming into play here. Pull to the zipper. The body stays quiet still. The armpit pulls, and maybe a breath in here. A pull, and an exhale. Oops. Five is a lot. Let's five do it again. Lot. Same thing on the other side for us. <gasps> Take it away. Put in legs. All right, grip the bell, pull to zipper. Notice that all off arm is pulling with Ian as he pulls it to his hip. Other things to note, we're staying the exact same height. So their hips are staying back, loaded in that hinge position, vertical shins. Last thing to think about, but not least, spine is staying extended or long. So when you pull, you're pulling through your lat. We're trying to avoid rounding into that cat shape when we pull. <sighs> like a lat pull down, pull that load onto the hips through those six sounding wings right there. All right, it's time again. Presses again. again, maintaining that number three. Take a breath, gather your tension, three reps. One side first. Press, inhale down. Exhale, inhale down. And there's our three. Two hands on. Return it to the floor. What went well, shake it out with a little light wiggle. High tension techniques like Lauren said before, but also those loose ones in the middle can help you reset. Three reps, other side. It's like a baseball signal. Hike it. Whoops, sorry. Or rest. And three of these. Inhale down, press, full power up. There's our three. Pull. Return to the floor and up, barehanded. Lauren went first the last time, so I'll go first this time. We're transitioning into stop swings. Single arm stop swings, For three that is. <laughs> For three, not five. Somehow the reps came down when it's Ian's turn to go first. Three stop swings. What that is is one full swing, pull, swing, through, park. Repeat two more times. Same principles as your hike pass. Off arm comes with you. Lat engage. Hips drive that bell forward. Give it a little shake wiggle. Before you go, one second, I have to say too many words. On your next round, I want you to match that exhale to when your hips snap through. Here we go, let's breathe together. Hip Ooh. hinge. Park. 
Good. Strong exhale, that helps that brace right now. Good. We want to time the exhale with the hips versus the top of the swing. That's right. Apply that to most sports. It's that moment on impact, the kettlebell swing. Exhale is when the kettlebell leaves the hips. Maintain that breath cadence. Perhaps a deep one in the middle, a little shake, and repeat. Same repetitions, three stop swing repetitions on your alternate side. As Lauren continues here, the height of the bell is remaining so consistent, if not even more powerful. Don't settle for sub par or sub 90 degree swings. Aim for power. Even though that means your number has to be low. Back to you, Lauren, cueing those awesome presses. Back to you. Whew. I'm catching my breath through my nose. And then we're gonna press. This is round three. Three presses, each arm again. Get over top of your bell. When you're ready, cheat clean. And hold. one, inhale. Two, inhale. Three, pull down, park. Good, with that power, that tension in our breath, we don't feel the exhale, you hear us do a little Something like that. That's a, if you place your hands on your belly and you go, huh, 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 that's what we're using versus <sighs> deflated. Keep the shield. Keep the shield. Ready? Second side. Inhale to pull. Huh. One. Inhale down. Two. Inhale down. Three. Park. The breathing is tricky. It feels funny but I 100% guarantee money back because you're paying so much uh, that the breathing will help you. The breathing will help. 100%. All these techniques will, and all those techniques in the swings, let make sure I get out of that ballistic way there, aim to culminate here on the continuous swing. So let's keep that number three, and for three repetitions in a row, hike, swing, 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 keep it off the floor until that last one. So this is our Quick repetitions, continuous swing. That's one, two, and three. Follow that by a quiet park. Excellent job. And repeat on the other side. That big breath in the middle can help reset. And looking for three powerful one arm swings here. There we go for three. Team us, those who are resting, let's just shake it out and cue us Lauren when you can. Three continuous swings here. It's a big pull, hip drive. It's a continuous swing. One. Two and three. Good. Now we park that bell. Great. I have to think about all those techniques and count. You're right. Oh. Uh, great. Let's do it again. Another three. One. When you're placing this bell down, let's see how quietly we can place it down. Beautiful. Like a Ooh. cat landing. That's right. Now, if it's not quiet, what's probably happening is you're losing your hinge. So on your last one, you're hinging something like this, and then you're falling forward. Make sure. Boom. Load set. Hips back behind you every time. Hips back. But it's those hips underneath of the press and as engaged as that top of the swing. Repeating that number three. Is that a sweet spot of a number for you? I think it's working just well for us today. Here we go. This is our second to last set of three presses. Hike pass it. Clean it to that rack's position. Looking for full body tension. One and two and that's it, Lauren. Three. Pull. Return to the floor. Come up barehanded with a shake. Reset. Let the core recharge here. It's a shoulder exercise, but it's definitely the full body. All the way from your toes to the glutes, to the core. I'm recharging. Let's press overhead. Here we go. Three. It's in that rack position with a firm grip and a press. And a press. Oh. And some of our drills, I guess, are easier to talk through. Get ups, maintain that tension, swings and presses. That's a tough one once the going gets tough. Let's go back to our swings here. I'll do it first, and let's yes. hit that number five. Continuous swings. Two hands or one? Five. One. One hand. One more set of one handed swings, and we'll finish today's class off with two. Five to one handed swings. Two, continuous. Hips through every time. Hinge still deep, vertical shins, park the bell. 
Now I said, all of those things, how was your breath? Let's think about that here. Pull. Two more. Good. Park bell. Very good. Sometimes you can only focus on one thing. This is fine. One thing at a time. But don't forget everything else. But don't forget everything. It starts with that awesome hike pass and a firm grip. From there, swing. It's the chicken game with your groin. Stay as tall as you can for as long as you can. That chest height with a kettlebell, maintain your power. Awesome job. Shake it out. Breathing's a little tougher right now because I'm a little bit quieter, I guess, but maybe that's okay too. Settle into your last set of swings here. Focus on the power breath. You can hear that. The heavy tension in the feet, the timing drill, and even if it was body weight, check it out. Work on the swing. We said it was that second last set of swings, so that means that this is the last set of presses. Last set of presses. Maintain that three number, shake it out, and when Lauren picks up that kettlebell, it's go time. I can stand here for 10 minutes. I know. But I won't. Okay. All right, last set of presses here. Here we go. Inhale. One. Ooh. Three. Whew. Nice. Great job. We want those presses and everything in this class to be challenging, but successful. So last rep, successful. Oh, if you really made me, I could do one more. Not failure. Same thing, second side. Whew. Great, wonderful job. Take a break for a second. Oh, here we go. So far today I've had my pressing kettlebell, that one right there, mm -hmm. and my get-up kettlebell. I'm mm. gonna take my get-up kettlebell, representing the heavier load here, as I do my two-handed swings. We're doing sets of five and tens in this I go, you go way, giving just about as much rest to work. Now clear the way. Make sure you don't trip over your kettlebell. Clear the way. Use your hinge when you can. I'm using the same bell I used for my single arm swings to do my double hand swings today. Because I know that next week we're gonna be adding on, doing a couple more single arm swings. I just wanted to build a little endurance, endurance with that and bell. Grip strength. But now we're two hands here. I'll start for five. Five and five. I go, you go. I go, you go. Sets of five and 10 here, maybe about 40 or 45 swings. We count on Lauren to get the math right. But right now, focus on your five swings, two hands, maybe it's even that chop and pop. Just groove that pattern, move away from the wall just a little bit, and five for us here. Five. So you're either swinging with Ian or you're swinging with me, and then we're resting the opposite time. Hmm, we did all those practices with single arm swings, but the same principles apply here. Ooh, except we're doing five more, which is 10 total swings. So it's a hike and a swing, a breath in on the recover or the back action, and a hi-ya on the front. For us who did fives, let's just shake it out and wait. High tension for those swinging, just a few more. Ooh, and when Lauren puts it down, we'll chip chop our hips and we'll do 10 as well. 10 swings for Team Ian, Team Lauren. You're trying to breathe in and out that nose. At the top here, those arms are nice and straight, but our shoulders are retracted. We're in that plank position, butts and abs. Feet gripping, breathe. Ooh, little pyramid action with those other versions of things we did last week, okay? It's like a mountain. Let's do more of a wave here. Do five and 10, we'll come back to five. Let the heart rate come down, the power high. Into a five strong repetition, followed by that super quiet arc. And then team alternate versions of us here. Let's do it. Five this time. Inhale, pull. Match that breath. If there's one thing you think about, it's that breath. Straighter elbows. And breaths. Well, you're just sitting a little bit. Sorry. I was trying to be quiet, but you can't be quiet when you have a mic on. Extend it out. Ten repetitions for the back of that number. Scale your number of the knee. Maintain integrity. Working with it. It's the exhale out. 
you say, well, I'll go straight. Of course they are. Q over that Q. For me, I'm thinking next set, I'm keeping my shoulder blades together to help keep my elbow straight. Here we go. Team in 10 swings here. One. Strong exhale. Two. Talking less, breathing more. Is that better? It was good at the top. You do this funny bend on the way down. We'll tidy it up. We'll tidy it up. Fives. Enough chit chat. This is our last set of five here. There is one set of ten now. So five powerful swings. Two or so more. In the nose. Out the nose if you can. It's very difficult, especially if you're talking. Always working on it. Here we go. Teeny and five. We're recovering in and out the nose, like Ian said. Light. That's better. Light grip. Shake out those wrists. Shake out the forearms. Shake out those quads. If you like being told what to do in person, come join us in the studio. Lauren would love to tell you. What to, to do. Your title swing. I appreciate it. You've done before. This is our last few swings of 10. Finish strong. Close your last time breathing. Now we'll lose tight over the nose as well. They're nice and slow. As you're working on your swing, what are you thinking about? Shoulder blades. Sure sounds like time. That means you get one last set. Taking that nice strong breath. As you're finishing up your last set here, you're not holding back. Okay, no saving it for your last swing. Every swing is the same. As we get more tired, make sure that that core stays braced the entire duration. In and out the nose. And exhale. Mm. Inhale and exhale. Let's do that again. In and out. Two more times. In and out. And one last time. In. Even bigger, even bigger, even bigger. And nice controlled or forced. Exhale. Can you bring it back to regular breathing here? All right. I do more breathing, but we're not done yet. We have some get-ups. So you know what I like to do? You got it. I don't know how you knew that. Two in a row to start. Okay. This is going to be challenging. So let's lie down. Mentally prepare. <laughs> don't enjoy what? Don't enjoy the floor too much. Sometimes the best part. Stop using the yeah. Cuddle, cuddle on that. Here we go. If not, all along, as you do two full get ups on a side. Cuddle, roll. I love using two hands to press. Then drive the hip. Pulse it. Bridge. That's the windmill. Press the floor away. Square up the lunge. Full body tension to stay. Pull yourself down. Windmill, open the leg. Hinge. Pack the shoulder as you find the elbow and return to your back. One more if you're with us. Drive it in. Find the tall set. Bridge. Keep. Grip, grip, grip. Square the launch. Full tension to stand. Take your time coming down. Open the window. Then sweep that leg with control. Find the elbow. Oh, yourself. It's easy. And the two hands return. The I promise it wasn't easy, but I have to tell myself that sometimes. Whew. That was definitely. 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 Definitely a nice definitely. challenge. All right. That was great. Let's do the same thing on that second side. We have 12 total get ups tonight. This might be a theme through this round of classes this summer, so stay tuned. Here we go. Cuddle. Roll, press, hip extension to the elbow. Find your hand, bridge sweep, hand leaps floor, front foot, hop. back down, lunge. Breathing as you need to throughout your get up and taking each step independently at a time. One more get up here on, well, in this, Set, bridge, sweep, lunge, 
up. Last get up down. Taking your time. Ooh, heavy elbow. Back, down. Oh yeah, that's good. Hmm. Oh, what we should say hmm, is if I was by myself in this practice or no camera on, I would be drinking water throughout this class. Definitely. Well, you know, chug a lugging on the mic isn't a very attractive thing to do. So I'm saving my water drinking for after. But please feel free to drink some water whenever you need to. Until then, one each side. Last round of get ups here. That fits today. Let's just start with that cuddle, firm, firm grip, press. I like using those two legs. And set up and get up and put your belt. Scare your belt as you sit tall. Scare your belt in the middle. Press the floor away. Now look on the horizon straight ahead. Square up. Stand tall. Back down. You are okay. So maybe a little hit. We're behind. Let's come through those cues in our 12 sit. Elbow to your back. Ah. And return. I think my movements are shorter, so it's just a little faster. <laughs> Those short levers. Ah, it's a good pace, though. Again, within a minute of what we're saying, good pace. Mm, if we're just starting and you have to talk the burpee, I recommend getting a heavier weight. It's fun for that. Don't say that word in here. All right. Okay. Here we go. Last get up of the I'll day. Fun, fun is fine, just not the B word. Okay. Cut over all those things. Are Silly. Here we go. To the elbow. To the hand. Bridge sweep. Hand leaves floor. Squared up lunge. Both legs. Last time our descent. Rotating to look at that bell. Sweeping. Elbow. To your back. Pull it down. Return with the cuddle. Oh. Try to stand up with no hands. And let's do quickly one round of breath. Hmm. Shake it out. Nice inhale into the nose and exhale. Okay, more than one round. Inhale, hold your breath, exhale, hold empty. Inhale, hold your breath, inhale more, hold your breath. Exhale, hold your breath, inhale, one more round, hold, inhale more, hold, exhale, hold, relax. Hmm. Those breathing drills have been some of the more powerful and simple exercises we've shared with people in the studio this week and again going into two years in the archive there's lots of breathing drills there so breathing's your thing let's keep breathing let's keep training with our kettlebells kettlebells bars and bells those are the b words we do like thank you very much for joining us here today tuesdays we have kettlebells thursdays we practice our bar skills we work on our hip and our core well our hip mobility our core strength so stay tuned for that for Thursday at the same time, 4.05. Saturday mornings is our summertime. Play with your body weight, progress your crawling and eventually handstand skills. No matter what you do, remember to take care, stay strong, and we'll trade soon. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>